Greetings from Department of English, Mother Teresa Women's University, Kodekanal. Hi to everyone. In the last unit, we have seen what is word accent in English. Word accent in English. Today, let me read out few examples how the words are stressed. how the words are dress, stressed in a disyllabic word i give you few examples it will be useful for you to remember how the word or words have to be stressed now disyllabic word artist artist it is disyllabic word artist so in this disyllabic word the stress must be on the first syllable that is art so how the syllable has to be marked in a word that is it's a small slanting line that is above and before the syllable above and before the syllable it has to be marked artist doctor so you have to read it like that artist doctor govern london orange season village so these are all disyllabic words where you have stress in the beginning of the first syllable it has to be marked by a small vertical line before the syllable above and before the syllable so you can look at how i marked the primary syllable so here this is primary syllable this is secondary this is primary accent this is secondary stress so primary secondary primary and secondary stress primary stress before and above the syllable here secondary stress is below and before the syllable so this is how primary and secondary stress have to be marked in a word so we have seen in a disyllabic word in the same way sometimes disyllabic words accented on the second syllable also first one in the first syllable in the second one disyllabic words have accented in the second syllable what are those words let me read out those words you could understand that one about between can can teen forbid prepare resolve so here i did not act, give stress or accent in the first syllable i gave accent or stress in the second syllable before beneath debate forget remark remain so these are the words are also trisyllabic words for example in a trisyllabic words it is accented the accent should be in the first syllable so if you come across trisyllabic words that is three syllable words the stress must be on the first syllable itself so let me read out few examples for you accident beautiful abdomen barrister cucumber compromise gratitude so in these words we have to mark the stress in the beginning of the first syllable itself so these are all clues for you to mark when you are asked in your examination uh, you could it is easy for you to find out how to mark stress in the trisyllabic words also you you could mark sometimes in the second syllable what kind of a words so i will give you read of few words uh, for uh, to explain to you uh, accountant it is trisyllabic words but the stress is in the second syllable accountant announcement 
fantastic gigantic occasion not occasion it is occasion addition and also attention it is not attention it is tension so the stress fall in the second syllable and belated familiar historic relation so these are the words which could which have the stress in the second syllable so these are the examples we have seen how the word accent has to be uh, marked and i told you how the primary stress is marked with the vertical small line before and above the syllable and the secondary stress is marked by the small vertical line line below and before the syllable so you please rem remember that one that's all it's very simple about Uh, the stress or word accent in english so this is about stress let me move on to intonation in the next topic thank you for watching word accent in english